So continuing with other bases, we're going to next um, examples will be in base 2, 8, and 16. And um, these are very common base systems in the real world. We use these and we don't even know it. The base 2 system is what we used. Um, it's called the binary system and we use that more for computer language and coding. Um, the base 8 system is an octal system and hexadecimal system is a base 16 system. And what base 8 and base 16 do, um, usually we use them for passwords. So notice when they ask for a password, that's um, at least eight, right? Eight um, characters and it involves numbers and letters, whatever. So that's uh, base 8, that's an octal system for your password. So that's why most passwords always require an eight, right? Okay, so I went ahead and put like a little table here of like the base systems and just the basic ones. I didn't go up to really high powers. I only went up to the fourth power, but of course numbers can have more place values. So if there was five digits, we would just keep going to two to the fifth. And so we just evaluate um, the base to the exponent and that gives us the place value name. So two to the fourth is 16 and that's the 16th place. For octal, um, if you notice, like 8 cubed is 512, so we call it the 512's place. 16, um, 16 squared is 256, and that's the 256 places. So let's just say binary, play, uh, which is base 2, that has the digits, again, one, it has two, base 2 has two digits, and it's 0 and 1 less than the base, so 0, 1. So base 8, it has 8 digits in it, in, the, in its number set, but it's 0 through 1 less than 8, which is 7. So 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 7. So 16, what happens here is it has 0 through, you know, 15, right? So 1, 2, and then dot, dot, dot. But when it reaches 10, it does not use 10. It starts to use the um, alpha characters A, B, C, D, E, F. So hexadecimal, because it wants to keep a single character. It's not like the Mayans where we had symbols or like objects to represent numbers past 10 or past 9. So they had objects which kind of made it a little bit sim uh, more simpler base system. However, base systems that are in, in Hindu Arabic numerals like ours uses the two digit um, place values, right? So 10 is one zero. When I mean double digit, like 12 is one two, there's two digits in the number. But um, hexadecimal, and this is usually because of computer coding, we don't use the double digits. So instead of, um, using 10, they use A. So once it goes past 9, it goes 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and that gives you the 0 through 15, but all the double digits are represented by alpha letters in order. Okay, so now that we kind of got a crash course <laughs> in those three base systems, let's go ahead and convert. So base two is, again, recall only the digits zero and one. So if you wanted a very large number like 11,011 in base two, remember two is a very small number. So groups of, there's many, many more groups of two that fit into this number than groups of 10. So I expect, once again, from going to base, from base two to base 10, that my base 10 number is gonna be a lot significantly smaller than the number of digits I see here in this example. So let me go ahead and grab the table. And I hope the next example, we won't need the table. So place value digits. I need five digits. So two to the zero, two to the first squared, cubed, to the fourth. Okay, and so the digits would be one, one, zero, one, one. And they have to be all ones and zeros because that's the only digits in the sets. So let's go ahead now and um, 
see what number this is in base 10. So I get 1 times 2 to the 4th plus 1 times 2 cubed plus 0 times 2 squared plus 1 times 2 to the 1st plus 1 times 2 to the 0. And just simplifying that expression, I get 1 times 16. And again, I know only because I'm looking right here, <laughs> 16. And then 1 times 8 plus 0 times 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1. And so then I get 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. So if I added this up, I would get 16 plus 8, which is 24. 25, 26, 27. And you're like, what? How does something so large, like 11,011, become a little dinky number like 27, right? Well, again, think about it. There are more groups of two that fit into 11,011 than base 10. Base 10 is a much larger group. So less groups of 10 will fit into this number. So that, that's because, the, and that's why, the, that's, and that's the reason um, that the base 10 number is smaller because less groups can fit into it. So let's try this base 8. So base 8 here, base 8, remember, is 0, 1, dot, dot, dot to 7. Right, so the, all the digits we get have to be from 0 to 7, and that looks okay. If I want to convert this to base 10, here's place value, here is digits. So the place value is only 3, so 8 to the 0, 8 to the 1st, 8 squared. So that's not too bad. And my digits is 1, 0, 3. So using the same method, you're almost like, oh, I got this, you know. Um, it'll be 1 times 8 squared plus 0 times 8 to the 1st plus 3 times 8 to the 0. So 1 times 64 plus 0 times 8 plus 3 times 1. And again, I'm just looking right up here. I have a little cheat sheet, right? <laughs> Okay, to um, some, keep simplifying, I get 64 plus 0 plus 3, which is 67. Okay, so 103 in base 8 is equivalent to 67 in base 10. And once again, when you go from a smaller base than base 10, again, there's more groups that fit, groups of 8 that fit into 103 than base groups of 10, right? That's why the base 10 number is smaller. All right, let's try 43 and base 16. Remember that, that those are the digits 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 all the way to F. Well, that's only two digits, so that's that's pretty, pretty simple, right? So the place value would be 16, the 1's place and the 16's place. And the digits would be 4 and 3. So expanding this, I get... 4 times 16 to the 1st plus 3 times 16 to the 0, which is 4 times 16 plus 3 times 1, and 16 times 4 is 64 plus 3, which is 67. And you're like, whoa, I just got 67, though, for part B. How could I get 67 again? And they're both base 10 numbers. Well, get this. And just follow me here. <laughs> 103 in base 8 is equivalent to 67 in base 10, which is equivalent to 43 in base 16. So let me write that out for you. This is pretty cool. So note... Note that... 43 in base 16 is equivalent to 103 in base 8, which is equivalent to 67 in base 10. So you just found equivalent numbers all the way through, and, um, and that's pretty cool. Um, the second thing I want you to notice is that notice base 16 is larger than base 10. Before we had base 2, 
which is smaller than base 10, base 8, which is smaller than base 10, and base 5 in the previous video, which is also smaller than base 10. Recall that those numbers um, were smaller in base 10 than the original base, right? Because it, once again, you could always fit more groups of the base into the number than base 10. However, when you go past ten, base uh, the base 10 and go to base 16. So now you're past 10. It's, now you're at a base greater than base 10 because now you can fit more groups of 10 into the number than you can the base. That's why the base 10 number is larger. So it's almost like what happened opposite than when the base is smaller. And it really does have to do with how big the group is. 16, there are more units in 16 than there is 10. You can fit less groups of 16 and 43 than you can base 10. There are more groups of 10 in 43 than there is 16s. Okay, just remember that for the next section.